So welcome. Today we will be looking at the histological organization of the submandibular gland. The submandibular gland is one of the major salivary glands. It is a seromucous gland. A seromucous gland means that it has both serous and mucous acini. So from this slide, you can see a capsule here. So it is an encapsulated gland. So the capsule also sends in some trabeculae into the gland, some septa to lobulate the gland. You can, I hope you can see like this is a lobe. That one. Yes. So that's the stroma. So the palenchyma. So the stroma is the connective tissue framework of the gland. So the function of the capsule, it is to bring in the blood vessels, the nerves and the lymphatics into the gland. So the blood vessels usually come and enter into the gland via the stroma, such as the capsule and the trabeculae of the which the capsule usually sending into the gland to lobulate it. Um, the parenchyma is the functional component of the gland, and it consists of the secretory cells and the ducts. So, I've said it is a seromucus, so it has both serous glands. So let's have a close view of first. Let's have a close view of the capsule. So, yes, this is the capsule, as you can see, this is the capsule. Yes. So you can see it sends in some trabeculae into the gland to lobulate it. Yes. So let's see a lobe like this, the one I had showed you. This is a lobe where you can see the trabeculae. It is surrounded by the, the trabeculae sending send in by the capsule. So it is a seromucus. So it has both serous acini. Serous acini, they take up stain, the normal stain. This is the H and E stain. This is the H and E stain. So you can see these are the serous. These are the serous acini. So it also has the mucus, mucus acini. So the mucus acini do not take up the, norm, the, the stains. Like these are the mucus acini. That is why it is a seromucus. Submandibular is a seromucus salivary gland. Yes, you can see. These are serous over here, but these are mucus. So, the characteristic feature, the distinguishing feature of submandibular gland is the presence of serous demiliums. These serous demiliums, serous demiliums. This is a serous demilium. This is a serous demilium. This is a serous demilium. You can see there are the serous cells that appear as a cup. They appear as a cap, as a cape, or they appear as a cape on the on top of the mucus cells. You can see this one here, this one here. So this here, yeah. So then the duct, that is the those are the secretory cells, the mucus acini and the serous acini there. The ducts are divided into two broad classes. We have intra intralobular ducts, which are of two types. Intralobular ducts are found within the lobules. They include the intercalated ducts and the striate ducts. The intercalated ducts are the smallest and they insert into individual acinal. 
they are they are more likely stained than the acinae cells and a low cuboidal. They have uh, the epithelium, the lining epithelium, there is simple cuboidal epithelium. Let's see an inter, intercalated duct. An intercalated duct is like this one. Yes, this is an intercalated duct. You can see the epithelium here. If, if you want to know which type of epithelium is that, you look at the shape, the shape of the nuclei. If it is round like this one, those are cuboid cells. If it is elongated or oval, that is columnar. If it is flattened, that is a squamous. So this is a cuboid cell, and it, you can see it's a single layer. So it is simple cuboid epithelium. So several intercalated ducts drain into a striate, a striate duct, a striate duct. A striped duct. So this is an example of a striped, striped duct. This one, you can see it is somewhat larger than the intercalated duct. They are columnar, columnar. Well, you can see the the nucleus is still uh, round. Spherical. Also, they are surrounded by some capillaries. Let's identify if we can see a capillary here. Let's see. If, yes, like this. This is a capillary. So, in the ducts, I said we have intralobular ducts and interrobular ducts or extralobular ducts. Extralobular is where the, now the striate ducts drain into, and they are, they are larger, like this one, very large one, a very large one, this. You can see the, epi, the lining epithelium here. The epithelium here is in fact stratified, stratified cuboidal, or stratified columna, because the nuclei you can see here are like double layered, meaning two two cell two cells. So you can this is a uh, interlobular duct or the extra lobular duct. So uh, this is a capillary here. This is a capillary. All of this is the septa. The septa from the capsule, they are located within the septa. So here you can see the this is a mucus acini. You can see a serous demilune over there. Then these are the serous acini. These are the striate ducts, striate ducts there. Several of them they, they drain into the inter lobular duct or the extralobular duct. Yes, that is the histological organization of the submandibular, submandibular gland. Thank you.